All right, I'm going to work on his arm and hand. Um, i got to work on this uh, scabbard as well. I've got to get this thing uh, to where I want it before I do anything with the hand. So that's what I'm going to do today, hopefully. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. The nice thing about my 24-inch uh, 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 maquette of the male is I can take the arm off and uh, I can view the muscles from every angle in the arm. That's very helpful. I'm going to use that to work on this arm. All right, I'm going to get busy here. And uh, first, I've got to get something going on with this... Uh, scabbard here and uh gotta figure out what i'm gonna do all right be right back all right i'm putting beadwork on the uh bow scabbard well i imagine it being beadwork <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to put beadwork on the uh, bottom part of the uh, scabbard. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm using my tool with the serrated edges to uh, do the beadwork. I got some holes to fill in and stuff like that, but that'll come later. All right. I guess it's time to start working on the hand and the arm. And I'll get started on that right now.
Okay, what I'm doing is I'm attaching the hand to the scabbard, the bow scabbard. So that it won't be moving around on me. Okay, now the hand is divided by two. It's a half head length from the wrist to the uh, knuckles and a half head length to the length of the longest finger. Okay, I start with the uh, middle finger because that's the longest finger. And I'll go from there. Trying to keep all the fingers the same thickness as well. I got a lot more detailing to do on this hand, but I'll have to do that at another time. Because quite honestly, I'm not going to be able to do it today. And I'll be here tomorrow. But uh, on Wednesday, we're going to the foundry in Livingston to take uh, this clay to the... Uh, found her to get a bid on along with the the pioneer girl I can't set a price on the sale of these pieces without a t some kind of idea of what it's going to cost to produce it I'll have to put knuckle detail in and everything like that later on, but at least this gets the idea of what's going on with the hand. I always stress about doing the arms and the hands because they can make or break a piece too if you don't do it right. I think that looks pretty good, quite honestly. Like I said, I got work to do on it still. But uh, I'm happy the way this turned out so far. And uh, I think it's going to, I think this is going to be a darn good uh, bronze. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. And uh, uh, have a great night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. 
Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.